Uh, oh, we're right. by the Ethernet cable. Wow. I'm sorry, did you say Ethernet cable? Oh, sorry, Ethernet Plaza. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what does this fucking Moogle say? So this oh, question yeah, he wants us quest. to talk to the well healed youth. Do be careful with those. Break anything, and I shall be forced to deduct it from your salary. Beg pardon? What is my local manservant carrying? Why, a not-so-small fortune in prizes, ably won by yours truly in the Gold Saucer. You have heard of the Gold Saucer? Nay, ye gads, man, you might as least try to keep up with the times. It's the only the Sultanate's newest and finest place of entertainment. Thrilled to the sight of majestic birds roaring down the straits at the chocobo races, pit your wits against your peers at the triple triad tables. At the Gold Saucer, one can do all this and more. And if you know what you're about, you'll walk out a wealthier, wealthier man than you entered. If there's a better place to shake off one's cares after a grueling day of promenading, I've never heard of it. Did I mention that the female attendants are particularly easy on the eye? Wink, wink, I say out loud with words. Ah, but I dare say you'll rather discover them by yourself. Yes, I, I'll wager you're wondering just how in Thal's good name you could experience the wonders of the gold saucer firsthand. Am I right or am I right? Ha! Huh. I thought as much. Well, this... Since this has been my lucky day, I don't see why I shouldn't be yours, too. Uh, I, I just w so happen to have a spare golden airship ticket, you see. Considered a gift from one eligible young man about town to another. Just show that ticket to the lovely girl in the uniform over at the landing, and you'll have a seat on the next airship bound for revelry and riches. Be fairly warned, though, you may expect no mercy from me should our path paths cross at the triple triad tables. Nay, not so much as an ounce. Ha <laughs> ha. I have no idea how to play triple triad because I never played uh, Final yeah, Fantasy VIII. I... <clears throat> I think it was eight. No idea. Yeah, it was eight. All right, we heading up there? It was like seven, uh... had like snowboarding <laughs> and ten had blitz ball. <laughs> Um, yeah, we can head there if you want to. That's a sick Twiki. On. I mean, oh, you're, all, you're I, all leopard printy looking now. Yeah. We might as well. Um, and we also still have the uh, previous event quest as well. The, yeah, um, I, what, I don't, I'm confused why we keep picking things up and then abandoning them immediately. Well, that, oh, so that quest, um, that quest you just, once you get it, we can just go any time to go to the gold saucer. It's just the way to, it's the access to do it. Right. But what was this one? Uh, you had to pick this the, one up. Uh, Art of Glass. Yeah, so you need to go talk to uh, three people across town. Yep. Hand out flyers. Which so, are what, in... what do we, we want to do? Script, I mean, uh, we can go hand finish out our glass and then go seconds. for the go for the saucer. Yep. Uh, who do I hand Let's flyers go. to? Uh, people uh, on the other side on the other map. Oh. Yep. They deep it in the Udal. So one is in the center area in the gold court. So head over to the Gladiators Guild. Ethernet. Ethernet? <laughs> yeah, Ethernet. It's, it's forever poisoned now. That, that it's never, that, the word's never going to recover. It Ethernet, yeah. Look, it's not my fault that they spelt it weird and that English doesn't work that way. Let's see. So who are we giving flyers to? Is it these red icons? Or are those a new quest? Uh, it's the red circles. Um, that you yeah, can the find red them. Oh, it's the, the weird uh, the chevrons. Uh, I don't think they sell gas. <laughs> no, chev chevrons are those Vs. I guess, v I guess chevrons are supposed to face down, aren't they? Uh, they can face down or up. What? Do you not know what a chevron is? Are you talking about a carrot? It no, it's a it's basically a wedge. You know, like a share, like a, a sergeant's like insignia thing. That's a bunch of V's. Like those V's are all chevrons. Three chevrons. Yeah. Those are carrots. Do they call them chevrons? Yeah, they're, they're chevrons. called chevrons. 
That's why the company's called Chevron. Their logo is a bunch of chevrons. Oh, no, in programming you call them carrots. No one, that's not what the world is. <laughs> <laughs> the world came I mean, first, that's... programming is new. <laughs> Yeah, but programming also, is the world now, so they also need to that, update that their symbol's name. not on the keyboard. Huh? That symbol's not on the keyboard. It is the up arrow. Not not the actual chevron shaped icon. Anyway, uh, you mean that? Giving these people things. Yeah, that doesn't look like a chevron yeah. at all. That, it's too narrow. It, that's a carrot. Stained glass depicting of the sultana herself, no less. I've always been a loyal supporter of hers. It would be remiss for me to pass up such an opportunity. I shall be, uh, be sure to attend. Oh yeah, I need to pull up Keith's internet chat. It's probably oh, yeah. called a carrot because it's just actually a different symbol. Because that's not what a chevron looks like. Oh. Every time, yeah, I've, heard of, the... every time I've heard of a chevron, it's pretty consistently the same shape. Yeah, whatever the uh, up arrow that Effie posted is, that's a carrot. Luck could be keeping her. My beloved Yellow Moon and I promised to meet at this very spot. But two bells have passed and I've nary a word for her. Gods, I hope she's alright. Wait, did I just... Shit, this isn't the... No! I'm actually start talking to a quest person. Go away. No, I actually ac accepted it instead of... Uh, you can throw it away. away. You can just abandon it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. shit. I was trying to... I thought there was, there was the person... Uh, no, what it's fine, Keith. I decisions. understand. You just want to start quests without us. You want to? Damn it! I mean, you, he I'm and I do need to catch up to you, so. Not really. <laughs> nah. I've heard that it takes an eternity to get to like the next like ten levels of content, so we're gonna have no trouble hitting the level, I'm sure, as opposed to actually finishing the quests, which will take way longer. I get a feeling. I, I get a feeling we're gonna hit like a an experience like ceiling where we can't level anymore because I there's more quests to do. Is the is the cap? I think. No, I mean, I mean, like well before that, like we're. I think we're gonna hit points where the quest chains are really long, but we'll cap out on like the experience for the local area. Oh. But we still have to complete the quest chain to continue to the next area. Fair enough. I think that's gonna flatten out any gaps we have between us. Only those with express permission from the manager at the Celestium may enter. Please move along. You're making the the pu public untidy. What? Wait, who do I hand what? it to? Um, oh, is it this arrow person? Is it the noticeably dusty citizen? No, it's uh They'll have affluent in their type in their names. I, I don't I mean I'm already set. Got something you want digging up? No, it is the noticeably dusty citizen. You're full of shit. Yeah, I'm just trying to do the I'm just affluent trying to read the names. quest out for the audience <laughs> because everyone else just silently completes it. Hmm? Can't say I'm much of an expert when it comes to music and fine art, but it ain't often a bloke like me gets a chance to sample the high life. Be a fool to miss it. Noticeably dusty citizen. <laughs> That's my name, don't wear it out. <clears throat> Look, sometimes you can't choose your name. <laughs> or your dustiness. Uh oh. Maybe it's just that character from uh, Peanuts. Yes. Um, oh, I'm like waiting for an animation. Hmm, it does sound rather intriguing. If it's the same minstrel my associates have mentioned on occasion, I'd be had best go and see what all the fuss is about. I hear he's rather talented. All right, now we go to. Uh, I think you both. Uh, think we just head J back, right? Jibentia. Yeah, we're, uh, it skips the fall. Right in that, uh, market strip. Oh, that reminds me. We can pick Is up it... retainers! Are we going back to Nald? Yeah, you're going back to the main square where that painted glass, or that stained glass thing was. So just keep going straight. I go to Nald to see the painted glass. And then you talk to... Jathen Tia. Um. 
God, the map is so overloaded with icons in this game. Uh, shit, where was that? Should be here. Yeah, you can talk to this guy, right? I'm looking for Jib Jibintia. Okay, he's right here. There's no one here. Uh, sorry, he's right here. There's no one there. What? Uh, <laughs> why is he not loading for you? He should be here. You don't see him anywhere around here? I don't I don't see even an icon on the map saying to do anything here. Um, what the fuck? Are you guys? Yeah, Jib and Tia's right here for me. He um. I don't see Wait, you guys. Where are it's you? It's because we're at Nald. You're... It's... We, went, we went back to that stage. Remember that He's stage from last time? Me. He's in Thal for you? Yeah. He's where? He's in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange in Steps of Thal. Oh. That's weird. Um, what was my, what was my quest say? Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. My bad. Uh, that's okay. Why well, I like Keith here unnecessarily. This is why we do things together, Andrew. Mm, no. St instead of you just trying to remember afterwards because you skipped through it all already. No. How the fuck do I even get that? Oh, wait. A Andrew. 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 Oh, right hot. here. I'm just running down. Oh, I need to. That's a character creation thing. You might not want to do that right now. Yeah, fuck it. This is quick enough. Hmm? Oh, for the retainer? Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, you know, I was I confused because the, uh, all of the, all of the passageways that say Steps of Nald currently have a notification saying I can go that way to complete a quest. Because they all have check marks. So I figured, I thought that was where to go. I'm so confused. I don't understand the notification system in this game very well, honestly. Art of Glass is an exclamation point in a quote bubble in my sidebar, but the icon for it on the map is a quote bubble with an arrow in it? And I don't know how you understand how anyone knows what this means. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. That's kind of weird. Did anyone voice this guy before? I don't remember. Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, I guess everyone probably already skipped through it. All done? Much appreciated, but I'm afraid I've run into a bit of a problem. I was in the process of handing a flyer to this gentleman when my friends Aston showed up out of the blue. As chance would have it, these two chaps were previously acquainted, though they do not appear to be particularly good terms. Oh, a cutscene? How am I supposed to pay you back if the amount keeps going up? If you'd coughed up the money on the day we'd originally agreed, you wouldn't be so much, there wouldn't be so much interest to pay. You've only got yourself to blame. But Aston, if your interest rates weren't so high, perhaps you'd be able to pay you back by now. I'm not saying you should wipe the slate clean, but surely you should come back to a compromise. All I want is for him to honor our agreement. What's wrong with that? Besides, I've held onto my side of the bargain, so why do I have to be the one to compromise? But let's just say I give you the benefit of the doubt, that you genuinely lack the means to pay me back. I'll grant you one week's extension, but if you still don't have the money by then, there'll be consequences. Who are all these new characters? Only a week? Alright, you damned vulture, you'll get your gill. Then I'll be rid of you for good. Alright, I will be right back. I'm sad to say that such incidents are part of everyday life in Ulda. Someone is financially, uh, in financial difficulty sees a moneylender as the answer to their woes, like an oasis in the desert, but it's only a mirage, an illusion of salvation, leading them into even greater debt. Then again, many debtors will borrow money uh, uh, without any intention of paying it back, relying on an endless stream of short-term solutions. 
I hope those who look upon my art will remember the words of the Sultana and seek to help rather than exploit one another. Those two chaps you saw arguing you just now would benefit from it, I'm sure, you know. Aston wasn't always like that. He's picked me uh, he's picked me up when I was down more times than I could count. We both grew up on the streets of Olda with no one to turn to but each other. The only reason I'm even here today, making a living as an artist of all things, is because of Aston and his talent for business. With a few words and a couple of handshakes, he could turn a uh, gill into a gold mine. But as the years passed, it became an obsession. No wonder how much coin he made, it was never enough. I wish he'd realized there was more to life than personal gain, but nothing I say gets through to him. That's part of the reason why I turned to stained glass art in the first place. I can express my inner thoughts as far better than words ever could. Well, my words at any rate. Oh goodness, I do apologize. You must think I'm an awful bore to rope you into helping only to bom uh, bombard you with complaints and sob stories. But enough of that. It's high time I returned to the ex exhibition and re prepared for the arrival of the minstrel. Andrew? Yes, I am here. <laughs> What's happening? Who are these people? Why? What is this quest? I just read that whole uh, cutscene and I'm like, I don't know who any of these people are in this cutscene, except that one of them does stay in glass, I guess. I don't understand the context for this. Uh, <laughs> it's so it's a mini, it's so you access to a, uh, you get access to a mini game that you can use when you're inside of the inn. Um, for what? Hold on. Huh? That's what? what the that's what the quest we just did was. Oh. Um. Oh, now we go to the Ruby Road Exchange. Is that where we were earlier? Uh, that's back in. Uh, yeah. We're, we're now going to talk to the same character again, but in a different location. Yep. All right. Are you currently on that stage, Effie? Yeah. I real quick sped through it real fast because I had to step away for a moment. Steps of no. I didn't want to hold you guys up. Hello, strange glass guy, I guess. Ah, there you are. I hate to say this, but we've run into a slight problem. And by slight problem, I actually mean rather a huge catastrophe. So huge, in fact, I need a moment to compose myself. While I'm loath to impose you on you any further, I have a feeling I may need your help again, or at least some moral support. Oh, it's a seasonal event. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, and it continues, it looks like? I guess you have to pick up a new quest to do it, yeah. All right. Glass from the past. I guess it's a limited time only thing, so that's why we're doing a side quest now. I, All yeah. right, en enough panicking. It's time for decisive action. While we were out distributing flyers, these children were a little overzealous when I came to admiring my artwork. It seems they were unaware of the look-but-don't-touch rule that normally applies to, th to these things, and, well, it fell on the floor and shattered. Maybe you can just apply the... Like the Japanese art of like, like cup fixing, just just fill all the cracks with gold. <laughs> Stained glass is already a bunch of broken glass making a picture anyway. <coughs> uh, what is this dialogue? What are these dialogue choices? Um, uh, I might. I'm, uh, I've seen like no dialogue choices, and suddenly there's one here. Yeah, I was uh, very confused when it went just blank for a good minute, and then it's like. Here's yeah. the thing, uh, uh, um, first one. You pick the first one? Uh, yeah. Uh, this calls for six of the best. No, their punishment must be more severe. We're gonna destroy these children and strangle them. <laughs> Not the <laughs> first thought that crossed my mind, I must admit. The recital is due to begin any moment now, so the only viable option is to repair the smashed pane as best we can. I think that, with a little adhesive here and there, the spectators would hardly notice the cracks. Unfortunately, I don't have any at hand at present. 
while I run off to fetch some bonding agent from the Alchemist Guild, perhaps you could try piecing the broken glass back together. Don't worry, I'll show you how it's done. Are we gonna, are we about to play like a Mini game. logic puzzle game? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to begin? It's like a jigsaw puzzle, I guess. The following controls can be... Oh, just left and right on the D-pad. Uh, okay, uh, move cursor left, What's move it, left. What is it? What is this oh. going to look like? Oh. It It's going to be one of these. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um. Okay. Do you so turn them? Corner or edge pieces? Uh, no, I think it's automatically fixes that for you. It looks, looks like it. I wish they would stay at that orientation then. They do. No, when you put them back down, they, they they go back to being their original orientation, which doesn't help me find which one I want to find. Really? Because it's it's putting them back into the correct orientation for me. Finding all the corner pieces. This is this is some of the stranger controls I've seen before for uh, putting up a jigsaw puzzle together before. Yeah. It is a little weird. Kind of teleports all over the place. It's convenient that there were no pieces too small to be repaired. Yeah, the way that glass would break. Yeah. Be completely and utterly fucked. Glass. There we go. I'm done. Yeah, I'm almost done here. That wasn't so hard. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. You got creepy jelly bean monster art. There we go. Took a little longer because it was kind of finicky even with the mouse. Oh yeah, no, it was just a weird feeling. Yes, that's perfect. With a few dabs of adhesive, it, it'll be as good as new. Well, almost. It should certainly suffice for the time being, though. You were, gonna, you were gonna tell me you had that art on stained glass in the first place? How did you... No, you didn't. That's just a painting. <laughs> yeah. That's not made of stained glass at all. How dare you. That is way too complex for stained glass. Yeah. He worked really hard on that. He fucking cheated, with, or apparently. He used a printer. <laughs> every stained glass of every fucking glass is pixel-sized. Yeah. All is well that ends well, yes? The children were besides themselves with the worry. But now they're as delighted as I am. Silent cheering. Silent cheering. I've stolen their voices and their mo and their mortality. I, I mean their souls. Shit. Steal their mortality. <laughs> what does that even mean? I mean, seems pretty self-explanatory to me. Hmm. Oh, just a moment of nostalgia. I know from first-hand experience that the moment of horror that comes when breaking an expensive piece of glass. A few years ago, I was helping Aston with one of his ventures as an art dealer. I was in desperate need of gill, so he hired me to transport a few pieces. Then, when I was dro when I dropped a case containing some valuable stained glass, and I, I'll never forget the awful sound it made. But rather than curse me for my clumsiness or fret over the money I had to, uh, I had cost him, his only concern was whether I'd cut myself on the shards. Really, a cat who knocked over and broke something made of glass. How could that ever happen? I know. So wow. you see, so you see, that's why that's I don't blame racist. the. Ch yes, that's why. <laughs> so I don't blame the, the children for their little misadventure. I suppose I'm following Aston's example. Hmm. Actually, there's one more favor I'd like to ask you. No. Please no. No. I think if Aston were to see my stained glass, it might remind him of the days when there were things more important to him than money. Of course, I've tried various approaches in the past, and most of what I say to him goes in one ear and out the other. But if I were to come from if it were to come from someone else, such as your good self, he might be more inclined to listen. Would you mind having a word with him? I think he'd listen to a giant blue cat. Or, you know, the fact that we're a random stranger. Yeah. You're too kind. Perhaps you could 
uh, start by handing him this flyer and going from there. I expect he's in the quicksand, where he carries out much of his business. His clients tend to be a bit more malleable when, when, it, when they're in the cups, it seems. Anyway, uh, if you could rouse his interest in the festivities, uh, we'll leave the rest to him. Okay. Is he just in Off to yeah, the quick sense just the adventurers guild? Yep. Foop, 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 foop. Yeah, definitely not talking from experience there with the whole cats knocking things over. Nope, definitely not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, he'll just stare at you to see your reaction. Uh, uh, oh, here's Aston. He's by the door, the entrance to the inn, like your individual room. Here, you, you voice him. I remember you, Ben's assistant. Yes, or maybe he's yours. Either way, I appreciate you looking out for him. He needs all the help he can get. Though I must say, if you've something that requires my attention, I'd rather you keep it brief. Have your note. Or flyer, either. Yes, I do know about Ben's exhibit, thank you. Keeping my ear to the ground as I do, there's little that goes on in Ulda that escapes my notice. So why did he send you to advertise it to me? <laughs> he wants to remind me of the good old days. I might have guessed it would be something as soppy as that. A lot's changed since then, but he's still the same daft sod he's always been. Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, mind you. It's a sentimental side that allows him to create such evocative works of art. Mm. But I always felt that if he tried to make a living out of it, he'd lose the very essence of what makes him uh, makes his pieces so special in the first place. Rather than exp uh, expressing himself, he'd have to pander to the taste of wealthy but fickle clients to earn a profit. That's why I wanted to earn enough for the both of us, so he'd be free to pursue his dreams. Whilst, it doesn't need, uh, whilst he doesn't need me to pay for his bed and board anymore, I'm still around to help him if he falls on hard times. And just to make it perfectly clear, it's not that I don't want to attend the exhibition. I decided not to go, because if people were to, uh, were to think that Ben is associated with a moneylender like me, it would ruin his good reputation. But if he insists that I go, perhaps I can make an appearance without drawing too much attention. Tell him I'll think about it, would you? And back we go. You, uh, you, you can't accuse this quest of being underwritten. Nope. <laughs> Jesus it's Christ. It's a seasonal event. Back and forth and back and forth. Without any and additional context, you're like, wow, these people are really self-involved. <laughs> <laughs> so what did he say? Hmm. I'll just have to wait and see. Whatever the outcome, I'm, gr I'm very grateful for all you've done. And I'm sure you'll be pl pleased to hear I've saved the perfect spot for which to view the event. Oh boy, you mean I don't have to walk another 200 feet back and forth? The children are here, again, to smash. <laughs> <laughs> and or silently cheer, it's hard to tell which. Yeah. I like the idea that the children just show up and it's like, we are here to smash. <laughs> <laughs> the wandering minstrel. Uh, it's a bard. Who? It's a bard. I know what I know what it is. I don't know who it is. They just added a new person. <laughs> it's a bard. Um, I don't know. You got a good bard voice. The citizens of Ulda, by yep. my words, be transported to the days before the calamity, a time when all hope seemed lost. At the lesser moon hung low in the sky, a wave of terror washed over this fair city, turning neighbor against neighbor, brother against brother. I have a harp now. <laughs> there, in the midst of the chaos, she stood defiantly, and so our tale begins. Hearken now to the Sultana's Seven. Pass a coin to your here. witcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh good, we didn't have to sit through five uh, minutes. Stilted, of stilted waving. <laughs> wave, wave, wave. Wave, wave, wave. Goodbye. Astonishing. I could see the events of that fateful day in my mind's eye as vividly as I see you now. Such a profoundly moving performance would surely have touched the hearts of everyone in attendance. 
You made the art in the first place. You're not the best critic. Aston, you came after all. All right. An, <laughs> an artist you may be, but subtle you are not. Now is not the time to take from your neighbor, but to proffer from uh, him the hand of succor. Stop saying sucker so much, game. It's weird. <laughs> a message to all of Ulda, I'm sure, but also one meant specifically for me. I have to admit, the Sultana made a good point, and it still stands to this day. Maybe it's time I thought about earning an honest living. E uh, being a merchant is definitely an honest living. I don't know what you're talking about. I knew you'd come around sooner or later. And Aston, I can take care of myself now, so you needn't go to such lengths to support me. I'm glad to hear it, but let's get one thing straight. I didn't become a moneylender just to cover your expenses while you carved out a career as an artist. I didn't want you to compromise your ideals and the quality of your work for the sake of keeping a roof over your head. Now you can concentrate on doing what you do best, bring joy to people through your art. Wow, it's like a Picasso fan fiction. I know. As for me, I should find a better way to use my skills. Perhaps I could go back to being an art dealer. That way, you can create whatever works you please while I seek out potential buyers. It certainly beats making commission pieces for some pretentious buffoons. You're suggesting we go into business together? Yes, unless you have objections working with a very recently reformed moneylender. Of course not. And I know just where to start, producing more panes featuring the Sultana and her seven trusty followers. Ima Im imag uh, imagine the streets of Ulda lined with stained glass depicting all its illustrious history. The sparkling jewel of the desert will shine brighter than ever. I'm also here. <laughs> this is the most I could have dreamed of. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your kindness, Sev. You probably hear the effusive words of praise quite often in your line of work, but I sincerely mean it. Thank you for all you've done. Actually, we don't get as uh, thank yous as often as we probably should. Yeah. Oh, and there's one other thing I meant to tell you. The Wandering Minstrel was, uh, wondering if we could have a word with you. No. In fact, he was, he has a present of sorts to give you. He should be somewhere nearby. Best of luck finding him. Wasn't he right here? Where'd he go? <laughs> no. Go. He just oh, vanished. Oh, we gotta walk another 200 feet to go back to the, wait, where, where? He just we? vanishes over oh, the wait, horizon wait. like, whoop, 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 whoop. Nope, he's up there. <laughs> Slithers away. <laughs> Come on. Where are we going to find him? Uh, all the way over to the end of the Ruby Road Exchange. Uh, right over here, looks like. You're up. Oh, here he is. The Masked Minstrel. Ah, so you came, as I knew you would. Jebentia speaks very highly of not only your skill at pierce, piecing together broken glass, but of your loyalty and compassion. Your vir your virtues are many and varied indeed. Fade to oh, black again. Nope. Oh. They were just skipping him again like last time. <laughs> were it not for your contribution, the festival would have been without its centerpiece. My accompaniment of song was not but a garnish to the fine dish that was our mutual friend's glorious work of art. Perhaps you would allow me to express my gratitude with another piece I have composed. I hope you're ready to sing. Toss a coin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. And now? What? What do you mean he cast Power Word Kill on me? <laughs> Wait, why is this taking us here? I... I'm just as confused as you are. <laughs> oh, Ooh. that's different. What the fuck am I looking at? Um... Meteor? Question mark? Why is the sun full of swords? I... <laughs> and who is this? I... Uh... Oh. I'm assuming it's gonna be an effeminate voice, considering I'm pretty sure all of the... crystals are. Oh... One, two, three, Gr not it. <laughs> Greetings, warrior of light. You needn't be alarmed. Literally Diablo shows up. <laughs> Wait, are you doing the main story? Oh, hey. 
It's the seven. We're, we're doing the stained glass quest. Still? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, I don't remember it taking this long. Maybe you didn't, maybe <laughs> didn't do all of it. No, I, I did all of it. I can't get over that guy's stupid mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it really is it's just intense. too much for that guy. This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by your weary mind? Perhaps, or perhaps not. Isn't that guy just the wandering minstrel? Why is it question I marks? I don't know. Naoki Yoshida? Isn't that... <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that one of the developers? <laughs> uh, like an artist or something? I don't know. I don't know. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Naoki Yoshida. It gives me great pleasure to finally meet you, brave soul who has ch uh, chosen a life of adventure. I don't think it's the wandering minstrel. Your travels have taken you to lands far and wide, and you have encountered people of all walks of life, each with their own ideals, hopes, and dreams. As time flows onward in a never-ending spiral, the course of history is guided by mortal hands. Though our existence be brief, our deeds echo for eternity. Man, all I did was put together a fucking jigsaw puzzle. What is happening right now? Seven years have... Seven years? Seven years have passed since the lesser moon descended. Seven years since mankind rose from the ashes. T'was a spectacle none shall ever forget. And that they live to tell the tale is cause for both celebration and reflection. When we cast our minds back... It is not sorrow that fills our hearts, but joy. For we have been afforded a second chance that we may learn from the lessons of the past. As we set forth towards new horizons, those with a thirst for adventure will lead the way. While there may be hardships and strife on the road ahead, there is no obstacle that we cannot overcome if we believe in ourselves and each other. Countless kindred spirits share our journey, and it is through mutual uh, respect and understanding that we may create a better world. The future is what we make by our words and deeds, and we will forever be at your side, brave adventurer. You have our undying gratitude, now and always. And then everyone clapped! And then the sun fell on us. Clap, 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 clap. And that man was come. Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> Take a second. <laughs> <laughs> the time has come for this vision to end. Time for your eyes to open from this waking dream. Ever will we be watching over you and your deeds. Guide the realm until peace and happiness, warrior of light. I think this is the first time we've been identified as a warrior of light properly. I think it's because it's referen I think he's referencing modern plot lines that we don't have any context for. Probably. Like when we come here it's normally a crystal, but this time it was a sun full of swords. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe, definitely may, not the same that guy. might be that maybe it's the heaven sword. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's the same guy. I don't His think glasses so. are just slightly different. He's a, he's also a completely different height than the guy in the uh, image because he was about the same as my height. I mean, we didn't have we, that was we we're floating in a void. It's pretty hard to tell there. No, that's just the yeah. same dude. <clears throat> <laughs> and lo, you are returned, pray tell, and you left with pleasant memories, fleeting though they may be. Burp, burp. Burp, burp. <laughs> Everyone silently perform your emotes. That is well, for such visions are wont to fade all too quickly, as the morning dew and the light of the rising sun may hap another of my verses would make a suitable gift ere we part. Please no. 
Not another vision. Time for 17 more cutscenes. You feel- you sure feel like a sucker for solving that one puzzle, don't you? Yep. Have fun singing! What is the beat to this? I... <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine, Keith. <laughs> In the way- <laughs> I don't- I have, I have nothing to contextualize the music! In the wake of calamity, light descends once more to illuminate a world reborn. <laughs> <laughs> Risen wow. from the fire support, neath the eyes of heaven, deception crumbles to dust. That doesn't fit, doesn't work. No. Those, it doesn't fit those well. divided by malice, united by bonds of trust. On the fields of scripts and federal rage far and wide, in the name of liberty, then courageous. <laughs> new, far, new, I can't do it. I'm choking. <laughs> All right, there. <laughs> it's it's really sucks when they, when a game just throws lyrics at you with no music or any context yeah. for how they should sound. Uh, in the name of li liberty, the courageous few turned the tide. Onto a distant realm, drowned in radiance, unrelenting. Strides forth the harbinger of night, iron will unbending. I would love to hear somebody actually sing that. And to, just to hear what it's supposed to sound like. Yeah. I've done it before, but I have to, like, workshop it for a while. So I have to figure yeah. out what the fuck they even expect from me. Like, I sang every song in Ghost of a Tale because they, they didn't have vocals. For the sake of hey. their loved ones... There are those who take to the battlefield, and yet, for those who remain behind, have roles to play. Uh, protectors and the protected, provided and the provided for, principles upon which every nation is built. Ah uh, yes, the only two roles, providers and those who are provided for. It's definitely not like a larger network of people that all bring their own shit to the table. No, it's just fucking I'm wolves and sheep, that. apparently. <laughs> It is the duty of those who rule to ensure that these elements are kept in balance, even if they must face great peril. The words of the Sultana ring as true in, in the here and now as they did on that fateful day. May each of us take them to heart as we face the new dawn as one. The animations are just so weird. That's not what. That's not how it fireworks. <laughs> no, but you know, magic. Click. Da 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 da. Yeah, no, I definitely don't want to do this game. Well, thanks, now that no we're thanks. done with the stuff that Andrew did to us. <laughs> Oh, no. this is the theme that's in the background. Oh. I couldn't hear any music. I, like, I only heard, like, a tiny bit of harp music for, like, three seconds at the beginning. Not enough to, like, match the whole background, and that didn't have a clear... And, be, and being a harp music, it doesn't have a clear enough melody to sing to. Because harp is not helpful. <laughs> uh... I think okay, we should turn in we... the self-management quest. Yeah. Where's Adder's Nest? Is that his nest just uh, this place right here? Uh, no, it's in the Black Shroud. Where, yeah, uh, it's where, like is in where's the Black no Shroud? Here. Um, Wait, it's gonna be on. at the New Gridania. Yeah, we're, that's what we're we doing. Um, yeah, we're uh, supposed to turn the quest. Real quick? What? We can we can do that. I mean, uh, yeah, weren't we gonna do the golden airship uh, or the golden ticket? Uh, we could. I was just thinking about the fact that we're on our way to hitting level 30, and if we're going to hit level 30, we should probably finish self-management so that we can actually do our class quest. Yeah, that's fair. Because the, the two requirements for our class are to do our class quest and to have self-management done. And we got right. this far okay. and then just stopped. So we need to head to... Let me go ahead and pull this up here. We need to head to the Adder's Nest, which is in the Black Shroud. And New to Gridania. get there, we need to go to New Gridania. Okay, well, off to teleport. Who's take who's paying the fee this time? Uh where's the button? There we go. Okay. You know what the nice Deuces. thing is? <clears throat> we have mounts this time, which means we can actually go places faster. <laughs> Andrew's just uh, dancing uh, with this naked man on the stage. Hey. 
It's the thing to do. Let's All see. Right. All right. Time to go get some Adderall. <laughs> Just in general? Uh, that's where you keep it, right? The adder's nest? Oh, no. Like it's an wow. opium den of Adderall? <laughs> My god. Wait, where are you, Keith? I'm just running here. I teleported here. Oh. Yep. Alright. We know far too little of the silts to lay any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the Scions once more if we are to... Ah, oh, big pardons. Tis a terrible habit of mine to think aloud. But tell me, what brings you to the Adder's Nest? What? Like, Wait, is that a girl or a boy? It's a boy. Uh. Hey, hang on. Sorry. Let's try that again. Continue, please. Hail, adventurer. I bid you welcome to Adder's Nest. Do you seek and twine your destiny within the Twin Adder? Good day, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. We know you? Yada and Papali... Uh, Papali... Papalimo. Is that it? Papalimo? Yeah, Papalimo. we know these people, Effie. They're the people from the organization. Yeah, yeah it, it hit yeah. me as soon as... It, it's been a week, okay? <laughs> Yada and Papalimo. Always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men tell you, uh, tell me you question the name of the Scions of late. Give us your little... Little gnome voice, Effie. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the Twin Adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Aye, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the Sylphs, that curious beast tribe that calls the depths of the Twelve's wood home. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceful brunch. Uh, a brunch. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Much the delight of the Elder Cedar who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The Twin Adder is the same of mine, and tis precisely for the reason that the Sif's re uh, relation to the primal Rama has raised a flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Ouch. That's racist. Should there be a, uh, even a sliver of chance that the summoning of the primal might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Sif tribes, it is a possibility we cannot ignore. Wow, he just said that right in front of me. Better be safe than sorry, indeed. Do we strike at Rama? Or, uh, is it Rama? Ramu. It's Ram? Ramu? Yep. Babu. Ram, uh. Pretty sure. Do it's we Ram. strike at Ramu or leave the Sifts on their own ways? That is the question. Yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions abound within Gridania, but to listen to only one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the Sifts themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where the Scions come in. <laughs> the Sifts of Little Solace remain untempered, and have yet uh, have held many a productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their untempered brethren. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sylphic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do to have any cross-cultural faux, faux pas get in the way of a productive parlay. <coughs> en route to the little solstice, you will come upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officer stationed there can enlighten you as to how to win the Sylph's favor. May your exped uh, expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly palaver with the Sylphs? This should be a pleasant enough diversion. The, pa the Hawthorne Hut. Oh, hot. Yeah, Hawthorne Hut, was it? Why well, I believe the ferry departs from the West Shore. Uh, West Shore Pier should take us straight there. A friendly palaver indeed. I hope this will be as straightforward as you say, Palimo. Papalimo. Daddy Lima Bean. <laughs> Daddy Lima Bean. I'm noticing that a lot of uh, Lollafells have Papa in the front of their name, or at least the male ones do. That's I mean, probably intentional. I, I don't they mostly, shame. they mostly just all have the Lalafell naming scheme. Hmm. One repeating syllable and then another one. So now we gotta go to old Gardenia. Yep, we're good we though. Going? That was the requirements. Now we're all, now we uh, can do our now we can get our class once we have our class quest. 
Now I just need to hit 30. Yep. Oh boy. I mean, I'm at 51,000 out of, well, almost 52,000 out of 155.9, so. I'm at 123,000. 70,000 behind you. My goodness. Andrew was level 30 when we started. Yeah. I knew I should have done a little bit of off screen grinding. And he also and lost just... all of his clothes in a fire. I did that as well. Yes. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Shit. It's like, turn left. Uh, to. Too many uh, icons. I can't see anything. I know. Uh, left turn. I don't. Uh, Get lost. Me. Yes. Oh, my voice. We went through a market where it would every time you go to a market, there's 50 icons on the map. Oh, we're just uh, leaving. Okay. Yeah, we're just leaving out of the. I, was, I thought that we were trying to find the objective in there somewhere. I'm like, fuck, I can't. There's too uh, much shit no. on the map. Help. 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 I need some mud. Help. Not just anybody. I, the fairy docked at the base of this hill, will carry you across the lake to East Shroud. Once you're ashore, uh, head due east and you should find the Hawthorne Hut without much trouble. You wanna head? <laughs> <laughs> Making me feel a little overdressed here, Andrew. I mean, you're free to go get a uh, bathing suit. Passage. There we go. There you go. I was gonna say, actually, we uh, we're level <laughs> thirty now, right? No. Oh shit. No. Yeah. We, oh wait. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> well, when you guys are whole yeah, time a conversation a minute ago. Yep. Sorry, we gotta go to the fairy guy. Yeah. Um, I just don't know which one to go to. Uh, we're going I just want to point out the detail. They made a fucking ring for his tail. Uh, you see I that? Sweet. I think it's a sweet room here. We're going to where is this at? Uh, Hawthorne Hut's the Bramble Batch. So sweet bloom, yeah. Yep. Do rabbit people not have tails? I don't think. Well, so. everyone just blinked out of existence in front of me. We Fuck. took a uh, sweet, uh, sweet bloom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, rabbit people do not have ah! tails. By the way. Why does your voice suck whenever you're loading a game? Me? Why does that happen? What? Hey. Oh my god, what are you wearing? Did you not even notice? Oh, you have the, you have the horns. Not you, I was talking oh. about Panda. Panda has like horns and shit. I mean, the fact that uh, our friend Zev over here has got a jockstrap running as well, you know, that doesn't yeah. help. <sighs> he's, got unique, he's got unique underwear. There's a fucking ring for his tail. <laughs> I don't know uh, if I like I mean... that. <laughs> oh, oh, Come right. back, giant fat nightmare. Uh, how do I... Shit. Uh... uh -oh. See ya. I guess... There we go. <laughs> I guess we can all, uh... That's it. I just, I just had to remember how to get on my mount. Oh god, the shadows are freaking out. They don't like it. <laughs> oh, is my voice garbled now? Great. A little bit, yeah. Uh, I'm going to assume... Well, your, your voice got garbly once you got to the loading screen, yeah. But also, like, I guess seeing the shadows, like, flicker like crazy. No. Like the tree shadows in the distance. They're not treating it very well. Wait. Oh, that's funny. Okay. The nine Wait, eyes. Is that, is that better? Do I not sound so garbly? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate the name of this place, Ooh, Nine Ives. Tap the. Uh, Where are you going? Oh. Chair. Yeah. Attune to this, and then go talk to the quest giver. Always attune first. And also otherwise you'll forget. And then you'll look okay. silly. Yeah. Now that you have a mount, you're very unlikely to use a chocobo keep, but. I mean, it's always good to do anyway. I'm not even sure what they're for at this point. Laziness? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, is if you want to go take a pee, but get someplace. Is um, this the same person? No. Oh, crap. I am indeed 
uh, or, or sorry. <laughs> indeed, indeed I am. <laughs> I am. Indeed I am. Indeed I am a million of the Twin Adder. I understand you're here to learn of the Sylphs, yes? For all their whimsy, they are a weary lot. Particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. Earn their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. They have their quirks, but so do we all, no? Would you know more? You do well to speak with the, uh, with the master of this hunt, Rolf. He's forgotten more about the sylphs than I'll ever know. As a son of a shepherd. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> when dealing with the wild things <laughs> can't click on them <laughs> no 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 it's not a shepherd he's a beekeeper get it right who Ralph I said he's the son of a shepherd he, yeah he's literally the family of beekeepers it literally said as much in the quest description no, no Ralph is from Ed and Eddie about, yeah he's talking oh. about the cartoon Ed and Eddie's talking about Ralph <laughs> You dare cr cross the son of a shepherd? <sighs> Come to learn a thing or two about the sylphs, have you? I'll tell you one thing, they're a peculiar folk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, let me just tell you. They're, uh, they're, uh... <sighs> Beg pardon, friend. My memory's just not what it used to be. I've seen much and more in my adventuring days, and it's all a clutter in my noggin now. Though I've shared my stories with those around the hut before, you might have more luck with them. Oh boy. Unnecessary fetch quests. Hooray. Oh, oh here's one right here. Isabel Hawthorne. Nope. Oh. And Florimund. Oh yeah, like some, a bunch of them are in this room, I think. Uh, plenty of time. Wait, is that right? None of that transmitted. Your voice cut out. Yeah. Oh. The sylphs? It, no, is it not working? It's working now. I think you, yeah, your girl now. voice is so shrill and it's loud so that it, that Discord okay. tries to protect us from it. Yep. You got to turn off the that sylphs? advanced filtering. Is that better? Better. Yes, father told me his stories plenty of times. What I've, o what I've always found most captivating is how their concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. You do best not to underestimate them on account of their childlike looks, lest your, f your face end up a mess of glyphs, squiggles, and chocobo scratches. Tee hee. Outside. Uh, outside. Uh, uh. God, the lighting. Oh, that was, that was supposed to be lightning, I guess. It just looks like more graphical glitches. Merchant and Mender. Over here. Yeah, you can repair your gear. Yeah, oh, please repair all my stuff, because I have not repair even tried to do that in a long shit. time. Oh, that's yeah. good. My money's trending up. I still have over 300,000. Yeah. I don't have to, a shit ton of crap I don't have to worry about the teleporting, too. like destroying my teleports or anything. Yeah. Blaze at. <laughs> The quickest way to a quiver ah, Jesus, the lightning looks really bad. The qu to a quiver woman's heart might be through her stomach. But don't even think of trying to foist your foodstuffs on a sylph. They sustain themselves simply by bathing in the sun, or so Rolf once told me. Also, wow. that bow is far too big for you. Like, it's a, like even have you, bows have you never... seen Cloud before? <laughs> yeah, but even long it's this bows, universe. I'm fairly certain we're never actually larger than the archer. Everyone uses what? People use unwieldy. swords that are bigger than them. Point. All right. More silks. Intervi- uh, Intervent. Inveterate. What the hell? Inveterate. Okay. Inveterate tricksters and troublemakers. That's what they are. One day they're drawing more morbid faces on our masks. The next day they're spending or sending our young sen sentries falling. They're sending our young sentries falling to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop, and they just laugh at you. Rolf claims they harbor no ill will, but I dare say such pranks are no laughing matter. All right. Especially when people can die. Oops. I mean, yeah, it's the best kind of prank. <laughs> just a prank, bro. Short distance mounting. Wait, I'm still on it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. 
Hearing your stories, well, my stories, has brought the memories flooding back to me. I feel... I feel like dancing. Please don't make us dance. Yes, nothing brings people together quite like a little toe-tapping. A sylph once told me long ago that dancing is a time-honored greeting among our kind. You do well to, to remember this. It may just help win the favor of the forest friends. Complete. Wow. Wow. Oh, wait, that wasn't... Oh, yeah, no, he was... Oh, okay. still here, huh? <laughs> Thought you'd just get bored and walk away. <laughs> Great, there's one more thing you should know about these sylphs. Uh, they don't take kindly to guests who show up empty-handed. To earn their trust, you'll have to bring along a, uh, uh, drab, what was it again? And my wife Rosa and I were just speaking of the matter not days ago. Forgive me, friend, speak to Rosa at the comb. Her memory should prove more reliable than my own. Than mine own. I think people stop Bobby. saying because it hurts to say. <laughs> than mine own. The nine lives. Oh, I really like that name. Certainly is an interesting naming convention. But it's not even run by a cat person. All right. Ah, I don't. I don't like the lightning. What's wrong with the lightning? It seems to render by by just turning all the shadows off and shadowing all the places that aren't shadowed. Second. But it yeah. looks like the graphics are just glitching out every time. A peace offering for the sylphs. Were it anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey, but I fear that wouldn't get you past their front doorstep, dear. No, their, their tastes run far more to the unusual. Are you perchance familiar with milk root? That's what we call the root of the most fiendish seedkin, the ochu. When chewed, it exudes a cloudy liquid that's said to induce curious visions in the imbiber. You'd not catch me dead trying this stuff, but the sylphs seem to enjoy it to no end. I've not seen an ochu around the comb in quite some time, but I did encounter a suspicious clump of grass the other day. Were you to stimulate it somehow, with some of this amber syrup, for example, you might be able to surprise you might be surprised about what comes out. Good luck. Why is Keith I naked? Because Andrew's naked. We're all naked. I'm On the not. inside. <laughs> We're all naked underneath it all. Look, I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. Yes, but there's also time in between those two <laughs> things. Well, I'm gonna live like I die. Naked. I mean, oh god. Oh, oh god, it's angry and I don't, I'm not on my attack bar. There we go. Ka 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 ka. Okay, Ooh. well, we can just uh, grab everything, I guess. Oh boy. We are covered in baddies now. It's all like really low level, so don't worry. Yeah. Uh, where are oh. the enemies? Dead. The giant trees really clear, clear, just cloud up the vision. Oh god, here come the Mandragoras. Oh, did that just like create waves of enemies coming in, basically? No, I just, I attacked uh, some bees. And they Bees. Like that. Bees. All right, so now we got to go back and talk to the guy who's gonna not remember why we talked to him in the first place. What are you guys doing here? Oh, who are you again? Why are you in my home? Why am I in this home? Whose home is this? I mean. He's not even at home right now. Ah, you're back. Was my wife able to direct you to a suitable offering? We didn't even go back to thank her. <laughs> Milk root, but of course. Those sylphs quay, quaff that cloudy stuff as, qu as quick as I do a flag and a mead. The effect's just about the same as well. Your mead makes you hallucinate too? Uh, uh it might have gone that's bad. strong stuff, yeah. Any wrote a gift of milk root will help the sylphs calling you have the sylphs calling you friend and brother at the moment they lay eyes on you. Now let me wrap that up for you. I'm just starting to feel a bit woozy. Are you sure you haven't been chewing on some? Yeah. Oh, he's oh, just cut, sitting there with like half scene. of it in his mouth while he's wrapping it. I've taken the liberty of wrapping your your milk root well and good. This should keep it nice and fresh, not to mention spare you from the god's awful stench. 
The sylphs love the stuff, but me? I'd rather bury a nose in chocolate dung. I dare say the reek even rival- Ah, his hair flickers for the lightning when we're indoors. <laughs> it's rendered so weirdly. I dare say the reek even rivals the breath of the morble that put an end to my adventuring days. But I can tell you that story another time. You've more th uh, you've important matters to attend to today, yes? The sylphs are an eccentric bunch, but I've shared their company enough to know that they're kind of heart. They'll not shun one whose intentions are true. May your parlay be a fruitful one, friend. And do stop on your return. There's a flagon of full flower mead with your name on it, should you regale me with your adventuring tales. Ah, and before I forget, don't go traipsing off just yet. Uh, I'm Elaine here, would have a word with you. Travel in safety, friend, and do pass along my regards to the winged ones. I guess we can probably just wrap up the, like, the sylph quest line or whatever, and then go to our class quests. Yeah. It this is good to see your knowledge of sylph culture has matured. I see no reason to lay your mission any further. Upon your arrival at the little solace, seek out a young sylph by the name of Kumixion. Kumuxion? Kumuxio. 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 He has served as an intermediary between our people on many an occasion, and has the close ear of the, his tribe's elder. I see that Hawthorne has furnished you with some of the malodorous, or mal malod yeah, malodorous root the sylphs so adore. I have something of far greater import for you to deliver, a missive from the elder seed seer herself. To summarize the letter's contents in brief, it vouches for the integrity of our en envoy, the Biu, and restates Gridania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship with her long-standing friends of the forest. The war with the Ixal has taken a toll on our resources. We cannot, uh, we can ill afford to get mired in another conflict. I need not impress upon you the, uh, for any further, the importance of this mission. May the Twelve Sea return with good tidings. Pretty sure his voice changed halfway through that, but oh well. That's fine. There's so many characters that we're that we're already. It's, yeah. I, it's impossible to remember half the things we've decided on. Yeah. There's so many fucking people. So many D and D characters like wrapped up in my head. Little solace. This quest gives me little solace, huh? Uh, 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 Deliver it to safely to Kamuxi with little solace. Keep trying to press the B button to access my inventory and it's bothering me. Oh, little solace is over there. Okay. Do you have any food left? It's like right over here. So we're good. Do 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 that's a giraffe creature nightmare man. What the fuck is that creature? How does it run? It's shaped fucky. It's shaped it, fucky. It doesn't look like it's. It doesn't look like it works. Its skeleton is a problem. Oh, Kamuxio's. Oh, the sylph. Yeah, there's these. There's these. There's these little like flowery like. Yeah, it's like a lettuce monster. <laughs> Walking one is not familiar to this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might be a different story, but this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one to be. All right, oh uh, dance. Last dance. Yeah. Look at my stupid dance. It doesn't look like a dance. <laughs> This one would welcome walking one who moves like these ones. If walking one would talk to this one, this one will answer. This one is a busy one, so walking one should speak with quick tongue. If only you could speak with quick tongue, we'd be done with this conversation faster. Walking wow. one would bring gift to this one. Walking one is most kind. That and that. Walking one brings milk root. Milk root fills this one with great joy. This one gives thanks. Gives many, many thanks. How about you give us a quest? Walking one carries message for old elder one? 
This one will deliver the message to Elder One. Walking One should not worry. They look okay. like flying cabbages. They really do. Hello there. We are envoys from Gridania, and we're here to treat with your people. Aye! We come to pay our respects to your elder, and to learn from him some more of your Lord Ramu. Who are these ones? These walking ones come from Gridania? Walking one became a dancing one and brought milk root, but walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks. This one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. G go home, you say? But the sylphs of Little Solace have always welcomed Gridania and envoys with open wings. The letter here carried by Salardor, or uh, hero, here is a oath of peace penned by the Elder Seedseer herself. Still, you would refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of Walking Ones. Elder One has no words for Grigadania. Walking Ones waste everyone's time. Well, I never turned away at the gates. Whatever did we do to deserve such a rude welcome? Was Hero's jig insufficiently jiggy? Hey. <laughs> I'm as baffled as you, but something seems to me, uh, something tells me recent events have our erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncomfort, uh, uncommonly wary. It would seem we've no choice but to ask around and see how we might earn their trust. Uh, uh, that one. <laughs> Just random potions that I'll probably never use. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. And now we talk to Ida. They really just showed up and ruined everything, didn't they? Yeah, they really did. Man, Andrew, seriously, stop it. Slow down. No. Oh, he's level 31? I'm only level faster. Zev, are you in the mood for dancing? That's right, dancing. You went through all that trouble to learn the self's traditional greeting, but you greet, but you you've greeted hardly any of them. Why, if I were a self, I'd be beside myself with delight to see an adventurer expressing any interest in my culture. Me, of course, I'd be happy to join. Ow, ow! There go those bloody leg cramps of mine acting up again. Wow. She says lying. Wait, so the default dance is apparently their traditional greeting? Okay then. I don't know. No, dancing. Maybe, 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 maybe we have to do the ball greeting. dance. <laughs> Jeez. We can just dance for the sylphs. So, hello, Laxio. Uh, where is it? Uh, these are not the ones we need to talk to. Oh, these are the wrong the ones? ones? We gotta dance to. They have the things oh. over their head. That's annoying. How the fuck do you tell? Oh. Walking one knows Jolly Dance. Jolly Dance fills this one with good cheer. Let these mm -hmm. two be friends. No, he said go away, shoo shoo. You did the wrong one. <laughs> Apparently they don't like the wall the ball dance. They no, like my they only like regular. They like my yeah. ferocious stupid dance where I stomp a lot. They like my toe tapping. <laughs> uh Walking one would be a friend to these ones. This one is overjoyed. But this one keeps the ways of weaving a secret. Even if walking one learned the secret, walking one could never weave in the same way. Do, 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 do. Dancing in silence like a weirdo. Fine. Dance the worst. All completely unrelated music at a completely different tempo plays in the environment. Ah, walking one is friend with these ones. Friendly like gracious elder of the forest city. Knows how to dance to these little ones' hearts. We did it, guys. Wow. We convinced them to love us. What a successful dance. anime beach episode we're having. <laughs> Except there's always one. We're going to strip uh, yeah, down to our okay. underwear and, and dance for plant creatures to save the day. 
the fucking Persona dance all night game. <laughs> Zev, would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is all your lovely dancing has brought smiles to the high spirits of all the, those little solace. The better news? Why, I've thoroughly recovered from those accursed leg cramps. Onward to our next adventure. Like, wow. Papalimo. <clears throat> Hero, as an adventurer, you're no stranger to helping uh, distressed folk, I'd wager. Tales of good deeds are quick to spread. The adventurer who comes to the aid of the local populace can go from stranger to hero or knight. No doubt you see what I'm getting at. The sylphs who make their home in the Little Solace do so having been driven from their woodland home. Surely they would have their fair share of troubles? Seek out troubled sylphs and see what might be done to ease their worries. A sound plan, would you not say? That said, the sylphs are not known to share their worries in, with outsiders. You would be better off inquiring with Hira Emidia of the Great Danyans, who reside here. She is most likely, uh, she is most like to be privy to the Sylph's troubles. My throat is killing me after all these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, gonna make me lose my the, voice. The talking to combat ra ratio is incredible. I know, <laughs> You're like, oh, holy crazy. crap. We've been in one fight this, in the last hour and a half. This is not an MMO. This is, this is an RPG. Just not even an MMO at this point. It's just a straight up <sighs> JRPG. Praise mm -hmm. to the elementals. I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart. The Sifts of Little Solace are solely in need of aid. Pray hear me out. Burr. Being a temporary settlement, Little Solace wants, uh, wants for amenities, not least a stout set of defenses. Consequently, beasts from Malms around here are free to wander in and terrorize the hapless residents. The Ziggorans and Gaonats that roam around these parts are especially troublesome, but slaying one of each could serve as a warning to the rest. Furthermore, perhaps you could gather three brownie bl uh, brushes as well. They play an important role in Sylphic culture. I do not claim to know the details, and what with such feral beasts prowling the forest, they are not easily come by. When you are done with the deeds, seek out uh, Komuxio. He is slow to warm to outsiders, but your good intentions will not be lost on him. My own experience speaks of it. Alright, well, now it's time to kill things. You happy? Kill. Kill, things? kill. I'm a gamer. All I know is violence. Murder elbow. Oh, hey, these are... Oh, wait. No, never mind. I thought that was the symbol for... He was a gamer, boy. She said, see you later, boy. Because she didn't want to die. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I gotta relearn my macros. You have macros? Well, my sorry, my buttons for everything. It's been a while. Oh, they just make the generic T-Rex noise. Like that. They just make that like that 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 dinosaur stock no, roar. Yeah, like the dying dinosaur stock sound. Yeah, the one I've heard since I was like four. Uh, oh. They die so quickly. But they're only level 20. Whatever are we to do? Keep killing more of them. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I want Earth to Oh god. Giant creepily shaped lemurs. Hey now. <laughs> They're just so strange looking. Oh god, their eyes roll back when they die. They're very <laughs> even when they're dead you can very clearly make out their face and it's just like I just feel like am I the bad eye? <laughs> I'm just killing apes now. I think this makes me the baddie. There's one over I here. wish I could get rid of the animation that I have for drawing and sheathing my my invisible weapons. You just want to go straight to punching. Yeah. After at the end of every fight, I sheath my my fist weapons that I've already hidden. So you, yeah, I'm sheathing nothing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Here, let me put my hands in my pocket for half a second. You also just kind of feel like maybe you just keep the fist weapons on if you're. That you wouldn't necessarily you have that, to take them I mean, on and off all the time. Uh, let's 
just past this fate. Okay. We're gonna slay a gall gnat. A boring weevil. That's judgy. That's what its name is. I find this weevil exceptionally boring. No, oh, that's it. Well. Killed all the gnats. We, we did it, everyone. I wonder if anything around here is on my hunter list. I haven't looked at that forever. Probably not. Uh, you would know it had the little icon over it. Yeah. Oh, these guys have it. The ivy. And take them out. Lock them up. Oh, the fate's completed before I could do yeah, it. Yeah, there's still... Here's one right... Uh, shit. I going to say, there might be some around here. God, these lemurs are weird looking. Dealing with these lemurs that decided to attack me. They're so weird looking. Yeah, I don't. I think the ivy was just for that event. Oh. There's probably more somewhere, but not like right here. There's another oh, brownie well. bush right here. And there we go. Ka -ka. Back we go. Time to head back. Indeed. We did it! Yay! They really made a mistake when they slowed that down. Dancing one is still here? Dancing one can sta dance all night. This one's trust is not so easily earned. But I've what got mushrooms. I give you these? Hmm? Dancing one brings brownie brushes for this one. This one can die thread once more. This one is pleased. Dancing one kills bitey buzzy one. This one hates, hates, hates bitey buzzy ones. Dancing one is kind, too kind. Many walking ones come to these ones abodes, but few are friendly like dancing one. Perhaps this one was wrong to trust dancing one after all. Hooray, and that should be my level up. There we go. Finally. Nice. And bring out your dead three. This one asks Dancing One for forgiveness. This one... Th these ones have many troubles since Walking Ones last came to our abode. This one must be careful, always careful. But Dancing One is not like uh, other Walking Ones. This one can trust Dancing One. This one would ask Dancing One for help. Dancing One walks... Da strange Walking Ones with bodies of steel come to the home of these ones. This one thinks steel ones come from Empire. When Empire grows, many living ones become dead ones. Tree falls and brushes burn. These ones' home is in danger. Danger! This one begs of Dancing One to help this one no more. Dancing One is friends with these ones and Walking Ones, yes? Dancing One must speak to these ones here and Walking Ones in Hut House and find more. This one has bad feeling. This one fears Steel Ones are after something. But this one should speak no more. Go, Dancing One. This one depends on kindness of Dancing One. Do we want to real quick do this uh, fate while we're here? Or um, is it fate? It's literally right on top of us. Stop I mean, the, the gnats. The reward's probably garbage, right? I mean... Uh, we can get the, uh, what's it called? We can get the uh, seals. Yeah. And if we get the seals, then we can use those to rank up in the... Uh, the army, and if we rank up in the army, then we have access to getting more cool stuff. Wow! There's something really, uh... What? I'm trying to think of the word. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> something just, really it, fuck about I this. I can't think of what it's called! Uh... Fuck it. <laughs> It's just the fact that they're called giant gnats, and you're like, what? <laughs> Those words are like the opposite of each other. But I couldn't pull out the vocab for the sentence, so I just gave up on it. Fuck this sentence. Fuck it to hell. Die, die, die. <laughs> Kill it to dead. A lie? I think someone would do that? Go on the internet and kill lemurs? Oh right, I'm D-leveled. Damn it. 
Are you trying to do abilities? Yeah. I just, I, I almost, I, almost every time we fight any group of enemy, I never get to use my AoE because my AoE is too high level. Right. And we seem incapable of catching up in content to my own level. Womp womp. Yeah, we earned, uh, what's it called? We earned 91 yeah, some uh, tickets. Or 92, uh, seals. 97 flame seals. Those are good. You get enough, you can rank up, and then you can get good stuff. Strange steel ones walk. Strange steel walking ones? Yes, this one has seen. Steel walking ones carry big boxes. Maybe walking ones hunt for shiny treasure? This one likes treasure. They're just, they're just weird children. Let's see. So there's one that's over here by the bridge or gate or whatever. And then there's two at the other at the previous settlement. Shush, shush. Shush. This one says steel walking ones are scary, like touch ones. This one hates scary, and scary ones have have scary friends. Wow. Anyway, bye. Bye now. Only anyone in this universe gathered intel before we talked to them. Nope. <laughs> nah, that, that would be boring. Convenient. We can't Welcome have convenience Welcome back to our endless talking. That person's trying to change the weather. That'd be a cool ability. That's what the flute does in Ghost of Tsushima. If only we could be druids. Yeah, there aren't really druids in this, huh? Oh. Fuck, there's a ridge around the whole side that I arrived at, but you couldn't see any of it past all the icons. I think the closest thing, honestly, would probably be Thaumaturge. Uh, kind of, yeah, you can... Focused. Yeah, you're dealing with the elements when you do it. Men clad in strange armor? Why, now that you mention it, I did see some suspicious types of late. They were gathering deep in the forest. I simply assumed they were adventurers. This is what happens when you make assumptions. Nothing happens to you? Mm, terrible things happen to you. It's an MMO, remember? Victor. Here's some types clad head to toe in steel, you say? Imperial soldiers, no doubt. I couldn't tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it's nothing good. How yeah. helpful. Yep. We learned so much. Anyway, <laughs> back to there again. Hey guys, there's a thing going on in the area. What do you know about it? Oh, there are. Uh, probably it's probably something bad considering everything's defined by conflict around here. Mm. It's okay. You know, I'm sure. Definitely don't need to know, like, I don't know, where they might be at, what they, uh, what their kind of armament is. No, just. Yeah, they're probably Imperials. That's very helpful. I do appreciate that, like, the word empire is now synonymous with bad. Yeah, there's not really an upside to it unless you're the empire. I mean. This one is happy to see Dancing One return. What did Dancing One learn? Not eh. much. <laughs> this one sees. Steel ones come from empire carrying boxes and go walking deep, deep through trees. As this one thought, steel ones are uh, steel ones are up to nasty, no good things. This one knows forest well. Steel walking ones try to hide, but this one will find them. This one would borrow dancing ones map. This one might makes mark right here. This is where steel ones hide. This one knows dancing one will go right uh, will go looking for steel ones. Yes. Yeah, fine. We just came from there and we didn't see anything like that. But now, something, 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 something. Where are we going? Something, something convenient. Uh, Into right the trees. And clues in the forest. Oh, over here. Suddenly, we're gonna have to activate our Witcher senses to follow the tracks. Oh boy. Just press that button that makes in uh. You just press that Batman button that makes everybody into a blue skeleton. What? 
will be a skeleton. Uh, I don't get off my chocobo. Uh, hello, can I push can in on the uh, left stick? That'd be great. There we go. Stop it. Stop it. We did okay. it. I'm all sniffed this box. Oh no, they're crates from the Acme Corporation. We did it. We found the clues. They were so secretive. Man. It's yeah, almost like a... they were only 200 feet away. I'm that was easier than any place. of the clue gathering we did that didn't even help. Yeah. Dancing one is back. This one breathes a sigh of relief. This one was worried. Hmm? Dancing one found something. Dancing one found paper inside a box? This is message from Empire. This one can read walking one's symbols. Message paper has names of food and rocks. Food and rocks were inside boxes. This one knows. But this one does not understand. Food and rocks mentioned all come from home of these ones. How does steel walking ones know to find them? Is there sneaky one hiding behind this one's wings? Snooping one selling secrets to steal walking ones? This one fears for this one's home, but Dancing One has helped this one much today. Dancing One must promise to always be friends with these ones. Uh... Take the high potion. Da 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 da! We did it. Yay! And now we continue. Oh, quests. I mean, cutscene. Helpful One arrives at good time. This one needs Helpful One's help. We never left, bro. One of these ones named Claxio. Oh, now you know names, huh? You don't just say every... <laughs> Their refusal to use names makes every line of dialogue like twice as long as it has to be. Yep. One of these ones named Claxio ventured outside the little solace alone. Alone is unsafe. Helpful one must find Claxio. They're like, what if we took like the ver... Like the ver uh... Skaven? What are they called? Is it the Skaven in Warhammer? Like they're like, what if we took the Skaven speech pattern and made it boring? <laughs> I think it's Skaven? I have no idea. I don't Cla know. Could it's the, the verm- the rat people. Like, they have, a, they have like a yeah. funny speech pattern, but it's like, actually charming. I have no idea. Claxio struck west after leaving the settlement. Hurry before Claxio ends up in the belly of a beastly one. You could just say beast. And walker. And armored people. <laughs> no. You fucking weirdo. That would be too convenient. She told us to speak quickly. Yeah. She's the only one talking. <laughs> She's the time-wasting one. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, damn it. It's another fucking greeny one. Who wants to be Claxio? Stop picking on the wild. Oh, God, they have bird heads. They're what the fuck? They're like dodos who have axes for heads and reptile and like dragon bodies. Yeah. Axe beaks, get out of here. And they still make the same sound. Okay. Clacks up. What? Walking one wants this one to return a little solace. Don't make this one laugh. This one weary of living with those who are not these ones. This one wants to be alone. These ones rely on walking ones for everything. No better than those ones is someone a primal one. Small wonder this one chose to leave. This one thought th uh, this a likely place to build a home, but then meddling one arrives, forces this one to go deeper into the forest. Meddling one is forbidden from following this one. Any away with the meddling one. <laughs> He's oh, just no. noping out. Claxio, oh, no. Here, I thought it was going to be a, an escort quest. God, the scourge of Vanilla Wow. <laughs> the fucking slow-moving cow lady in Stone Talon Mountains, where it's like a 25-minute escort, and then the hardest oh. part's the last part. That sounds awful. What? Flaxia refused to return to these ones, and went deeper into the forest? But, but, this one saw, touched ones lurking in the forest. A helpful one must hurry, hurry and find Claxio. Helpful one was searched for spools of thread in the forest floor. 
Those things will lead a helpful one to Klaxio. But hurry, hurry, before touched ones take Klaxio away. How would you know that there's a, str a trail of thread leading to him? Is that just what he does all the time? Like a fucking snail? He just leaves trails behind him? Probably. Fucking weirdo. Probably. Where's the objective? Up. Oh, up. Oh, that red, that orange spot up there. Yeah. Not a Ziz Gorlin. Damn. I'm under attack. <laughs> mm. A Ziz Gorlin. Zizzy. How do these names even happen? That's uh, that's the real question. That is. Uh oh. Uh, 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 even the boars have like behemoth style mohawks. Pardon me a moment. I gotta kill this thing. Is it in your kill list? It is. Ah. Only I could be so lucky. Why Look at this, this swollen jigga. What is that icon it has by its name? It's like a spike ball? I'm gonna kill it as a precaution. I can't get off my mount. I can't get off my mount. Shit. <laughs> there we go. Every time I click left stick, it locked on, the, on yeah, my I'm enemy instead of getting off my mount. Getting off your mount's weirdly hard. To the point yeah. where I think I think I might just have to like find. Huh. Wait, can you just press the mount button again? Is that an option? Yeah. Yep. I should check that. Ah, oh, I'm allowed to use my abilities here. Fuck you. Yeah, we're not, uh, we're not currently fighting, or we're not currently level capped for anything. Jumping jiggas! Let's test this real quick. I gotta kill oh all yeah, the that's the fastest way to do it. Here. Yeah, because the, the problem with clicking left stick is it can also just lock onto an enemy. And then I'm fucked! Oh yeah, that is true. Hey, AoE. I did it. That's all the ones I need for my, uh, hunter's log. Oh, crap. Ah. Bye, guys! Brotherly love. Well, goodbye, everybody. It was nice knowing you. Goodbye! Goodbye! R.I.P. Multiplayer playthrough thing. Okay, they to kick me out. Cool. Meddling One is back! This one told Meddling One to be gone! Tell Kamuxio that this one will never go back. Never. Alright, this was the other guy. The touched Ones! Touched Ones should go away too! This one is good one! Everyone should just leave this one alone! Be on guard, Zev. These self have been tempered. Uh, brought up under the thrall of the primal Rama. Akin to the Amalja tempered by Ifrit, these sylphs exist uh, only to serve their de deity. They'll not answer to words, only steal. I take no pleasure in this, but it must be done. We're just the same fucking class. Do do do. Boom. Well, this person's level 1 billion, apparently. Let's fuck him up! Nope, they just- I, I, I appeared to have pulled aggro. Shit. Nope, there we go. Nice being able to actually open up my AoE attack now when I want to. Do some group damage while also having a different opener for my combo now, for once.
With the power of controller, I can obnoxiously spin and it has no impact on my ability to control my character. But it does fuck the bitrate of the video, I'm sure. Oh, hello. The real boss fight, I guess, is over here. What? Okay, bye. This one is safe. This one was so scared. Claxio. This one has been worried, so very worried. Is Claxio unharmed? Still in possession of wits? Komuxio, the meddling one as well. Why are these two here? These two came to rescue Claxio. That Claxio is safe fills this one with joy. Komuxio, forgive this one. This one did not mean to run away from little Solus. This one was just afraid. These ones who live in little Solus were changing, becoming friendly with older, older ones. This one feared these ones were forgetting who those ones were, like touched ones did. But this one was wrong. This one can see that now. Meddling, uh, helpful one. This one is grateful. This one will return to little Solus and be with Komuxio and friendly ones. Goodbye, plot cul-de-sac. Well, that should see that. What say we return to Little Solace as well? I, for one, could do with a nice hot bath. Bruh. 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 Brah! Oh my god, sir, please put some pants on. How do I... Uh, oh, there it is. What? I, was like, where's my, I was like, where's my stone-fisted button? I was trying to find my defense mode button, but I wasn't sure where I left it. Nice to fist ya. It reminds me of being a... Like when I... When I, uh, I level boosted my, my holy paladin. And every icon was just a different variation of like a hand or a shield with like a burst of golden light. <laughs> and it's just every spell and you have like 30 spells. And I'm like, all right, come on, guys. <laughs> I get that's functionally what every spell he'll ever use is. It's just another variation of like holy light or whatever the fuck. But boy, is it impossible to keep all these icons straight when they're all like a riff of the same communicated visual over and over again. And so you look at all your icons as a monk, and you're like, that's a this is fist, that's another fist, that's a guy punching, that's a guy looks ready to punch. <laughs> so much punching, oh my god, yep. still punching. Punching, punching. This one thought Claxio was lost forever. Helpful for one saved Claxio. Now these ones be family again. This one has known many walking ones. Even many kind walking ones, but this helpful one is kindest and strongest of all. Helpful one is a hero to these ones. Helpful one will bring these ones and walking ones closer together. This one knows. This one would ha would take helpful one to see elder one. But elder one is... Elder one is... Dead, probably. Uh, nah, he's just sleeping. Indefinite. With the fishes! Walking ones are kind and strong, but these ones cannot rely on walking ones alone. No, all ones must work together. That one day, these ones may return home. Ooh, increased- we got increased, uh, mount speed in- in Thanalan. Thanalan. This Hi. one must ask kind ones forgiveness. This one made promise to take kind one to see elder one, yes, but this one cannot. This one cannot because elder one is not there. Elder One is not anywhere. Elder One went into forest yesterday, but has not come back. This one is worried. Elder One often goes into forest, but never, never for this long. Kind One will help find Elder One, yes? Near where Elder One disappeared is home of Walking One named Buskaran. Buskaran may know what, what happened to Elder One. 
This one would talk to Buskaron, but walking ones do not always trust these ones. Would kind one talk to Buskaron for this one? And come and and kind one comes from Gridania, yes? Is Gridania is in Gridania live many kind ones, yes? We're not from there. <laughs> this one begs of kind one. Please go to Gridania and ask fellow kind ones for help. And please hurry. This ones are not safe until Elder One returns. That sounds like a, a dungeon, which I'm game for. Indeed. They're saying group up with other adventurers and go into the forest, and I'm like, okay, that sounds yeah, like an actual dungeon. Certainly a dungeon. Yay! Please. And now we go back to Adder's Nest in Gridania. In back to Gridania. Whoa! Uh, where are you going, Keith? Yeah. I mean, we could just walk no, back. No. Why would you walk back? New pink. There we go. Saying no about. Oh, I guess that is. Oh, you're teleporting to the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I, I, I accidentally clicked on like the first thing. Like no, stop. Let's probably wrap up the storyline. Maybe. Maybe. Do you have any idea? Do you, Do you remember these these storylines that specifically at all? Yeah, I know exactly what quests were on. Um. Oh yeah, you can't. I can't. I don't work here. I can't touch none of these people. Speak with Vorsail Hill. Uh, where is Adder's Nest from where we are? Uh, there we are. Yeah, directly out into the left across that bridge. Hurry up, cutie's God! It took so long. Yeah, it took I, I, lo I load the slowest. I think everyone else is on SSD. Yeah, yep. Like, I got too many fucking games I'm juggling at once. I can't put an MMO on an SSD. <laughs> I have two, I'm not. It's not even the only MMO I'm playing. <laughs> well, if it isn't our interpret, uh, intrepid ambassador, how fair are your diplomatic efforts with the Sylph tribes? Their elders gone missing, you say? Why, if he were to end up in the hands of the Tempered Ones, we'd have a crisis on our hands. You can assure the Sylphs that my sharpest eye serpents will be on the lookout right, right night and day. No stone must be left unturned. I would ask you to call upon Gaia Molk at the Bent Branch Meadows and deliver the message that the Wood Whalers are needed in the search effort. Also, it's time to duel. Really? Hell yeah, dude. I'm not gonna pass up an opportunity to beat someone's ass in a card game. Ha what? Oh, shit, he's a good card game player, though. I'm so confused. Fuck. Alright, his cards are a little bit better than mine. Uh. Um. Oh boy. Anybody know what he's talking about? Oh lord. Uh, you can't beat that. But no, you won. Yep. You're, Playing card games? Cards, yeah, your Apparently. cards are too strong for me. Fine, we're out of here. <laughs> Why are we running? Huh? We gotta go to the central uh, shrine. No. We haven't gone there yet. That's so somewhere new. Go back to Branch Meadows. Oh no, this one, yeah. That worked flawlessly. I was I like, this game's long. This game's long-winded enough that I could totally just take a break for a moment. So I did. <laughs> Wait, why can't we leave out this way? Um. What the? F Bent Branch Let Meadows. Me out, fool. I have no idea where that is. For the, the region beyond is rife with danger and not authorized to pass untried adventurers. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess we have to go at a different gate then. You gonna take us there, Panda? Much appreciated. Thank you. Pray. Cause that was stupid. I don't know the area very well at all. Let's go ahead and tune. Oh wait. Oh, we were attuned to this already. Oh, were we? I think so. Oh yeah, I'm already yeah. attuned to it. Oops. I guess we've been here before. <laughs> the name's Yeah. They always sound startled. Everyone who talks to her. Yeah. A message from Commander Helix, you say? The Sylph Elder has vanished! Worry not, friend! The Wood Whalers have eyes under every leaf, behind every branch, 
If the Elder is anywhere in these forests, we shall find him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh boy. You think you could fuck with me? Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try. Uh -huh. The power of a thousand fire. warriors descend upon you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so much faster. Oh my goodness. Where are we going? Here we go now. Uh, the speed's not, it's still not explained anywhere, is it? I don't think so. Uh, Because we're going to... Buskeron's Druthers. At Quarry Mill. Unattuned, unattuned. Dang, nam it. Alright, it's down this way. Um, we need to go down. We need to go down that that's the the Florida of this area. Yeah, we need to go to south. South uh, shroud. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, the boost is kinda noticeable. I've, I've, oh it's I've, it's very noticeable. Oh it's very noticeable. We're so much faster now. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that you if you look at any quest, you can just click on a map icon and it just tells you where to go. Yeah. Well, that's very helpful. It even goes to like the correct zoom to help you be able to see where to go. Do do do. Sun's back up. My blueness is glowing now. <laughs> Instead of muted in the rain and thunder. It's the best <laughs> kind of color. The character's just this bright, glaring color. <laughs> Amongst the green. Also, Panda, I can't play in Triple Triad. I only got like six cards. <laughs> that doesn't I'm sound like baby. enough for any card game. Yeah, you only need five. The only card game you can play with that few cards that I know of is the one from Kaiji. Uh, nope. Triple Triad's only five cards, my friend. That seems dumb. Uh, it, yeah, it's not great. Even what's also, it's called? Even whatever. Even Pazak has more cards. Yeah, we just suddenly slowed down to a crawl again. Yeah, we're not in the regions where we have a speed boost. Ugh. It's apparently regional. Because it was game. like, you unlocked a faster mount speed in central Thanalan, western Thanalan, and then I stopped looking. But it was like, it was listing a bunch of them off. Yeah, just the Thanalans. Well, we weren't in Thanalan just now. This is not a Thanalan. Yeah, but we had a speed. We had a speed. We had a speed bus, and we had a speed boost in the zone we were just in, and that wasn't a Thanalan either. Oh, that was Central Shroud, yeah. Yeah. Not sure. <clears throat> Let me know when you're here. Yeah, I think oh, we're all here. One. Well met, adventurer. We have the finest grog and grub this side of. Eh? Not here to fill your belly, then. Ah, the younger, a hunger for news, is it? I there's been talk of a sylph lurking hereabouts, but I couldn't rightly say if it be the elder you seek. <laughs> These woodland scamps all look alike. Short of painting one red and another one blue, most folks would struggle to tell the two of them apart. If you've the time, mayhap you could stay a while and see if that uh what uh, and sorry. listen. See what hmm? Stay a while and listen. <laughs> <laughs> Stay a while and listen, uh, and see what the gods have in store. You never know what you might even stumble across this sylph elder yourself. Click the Horodric Cube. And click. No word on the sylph elder yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. In the meantime, how about doing a favor for old Buskaron in return? Right then, let's put you to work. There's a customer outside who's spoiling for a fight and I need you to cool him off for me. Ooh, we finally get to beat the shit out of someone. No need to go cracking any skulls. Aww. Just take this tub of cold water and douse the drunkard. Tends to do the trick. My patrons can swill grog all night and carouse loud enough to wake the dead if they wish. But as soon as it turns violent, I've got to put my boot down. Okay. So far, the only conclusion I'm drawing is that fewer clothes has increased my tri my uh, stream viewership. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the fact that you also got Andrew here. Close to me. What He's a giant blue naked cat. At? You wanna keep a mice in your face? 
Bitch, uh, I got water. <laughs> what, what? We exploded it. <laughs> Nothing is taste that's cold. What do you mean no fight? This is dusk with scum was... Yeah, yeah, I know the rules. Bastard gets to keep his skin for now. That sounds a lot what? like a lynching I, you're trying to do there, wait, buddy. Sir, get back Jesus here. You Christ. Can't skin people. He's, yeah. one of, he's one of my kid. That's all. You, you can't skin people. Carl, I mean, you that kills people. people. They make good jerky. Nicely done, hero. I'll not have my patrons picking fights with one, uh, with each other over a petty bit of prejudice. In case you didn't see, the bloke they caught, uh, who caught the brunt of that outburst, is a dusk white elizen. They're all a, uh, there are people who shun cities to live in the wilds, making them no better than brigands in the eyes of many. Hey. To be fair, <laughs> the dusk whites can be unruly lot again. Hey, but they ain't so bad once you get to know them. And it don't seem right to bar a whole race of people from uh, from the uh, druthers, from the misdeeds of a few. Thank you. There should be at least one place where anyone willing to pay the coin and drink in peace is welcome, don't you think? Fine, Guys, we just want to do the instance. Just send us there. <laughs> this is enough foreplay. It's been two hours. <laughs> it's been more than two hours. I appreciate all the good you've done for our patrons. If you aren't disinclined, I have a favor of my own to ask of you. There's a doll, oh, dear lord. <laughs> There's a friend of mine, you see, named <laughs> Chiharoon. A good lad. It was right after the calamity that I came across him fallen in the shroud. He nearly died in all the havoc. So I took him in and nursed him back to health the best I could. He worked here at my druthers for a spell after that. Got to talking about striking out on his own, he did. And not long after he ca uh, not long after cast his lot with a merchant bound for La Nosia. Well, it just so happens I got to cleaning up around here and I came across something of his. The scarlet earring. I knew he was fond of the thing. But he must have just forgotten it when he left. So I'd like to see what that it gets to him. Can't say for sure where he ended up, but might be a friend of mine can. Uh, Rogadin, fellow named... Basing. Basing? Basing. I'm gonna go with Bainsing. You can find him on Hawker's Alley in Limsa Liminsa. He knows everything of the comings and goings of merchants there. Oh, balls. Can I Wait, go all the way what? over there? Uh, how is this gonna help us find an elder who got lost in the... Aren't we... Yeah, why don't we... Aren't we just gonna go to a dungeon in, in the woods? <laughs> what the fuck did they do to this quest line? Like, this was not like this. Aren't they telling us to go to the other capital now? Yep. Yeah, now to go, yeah, now we have to go to Limsa. What the what? fuck? What? Alright, I'll pay for this one this time. What a weird... Uh, Limsa Limsa. Yeah, this is definitely butchered. Uh, and... from the original Whee! quest. <laughs> <Bzz. clears throat> we're gonna learn, we're gonna learn about the differences between each country's nudity laws. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my voice narrating for these Aether, kind of guys. Aft Castle. Is is the event still going on or is the event over? Shit. I, which event? Uh. No, I think it's over. Oh, the, it is over. The summer one. Yeah. I mean, certainly doesn't well, look like summer in this game right now. Ember. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but I wanted to get a different. Damn it! Suit. Somebody was supposed to wake me up when it ends. It, or you go go. It's not the end of September yet. I know. It's a Green Day joke. Uh, not Company Chest, Hawker's Alley. That's where that is. I'm waiting ah, for you there. Shit, I don't have any of those. I don't have any <clears throat> of the things here. Oh, poopy. Have any of the what's what's? He doesn't have the, any uh, of the, uh, Ethernet, the Ethernet cables. Bainsing is big boy. You found your way to Hawker's Alley, friend. Hmm? Uh, not even gonna bother to transmit that. What worked at the Druthers? I you speak of Tetherune. Or it's probably just, probably just Kikirin? I don't know. Because it's the, Q, the QI is weird. Uh, related to that Kyokirun bloke, just are there by some blood or another. 
I, I think this voice has changed like four times in the last three seconds. Two of them put to, uh, <laughs> together and, and are making good coin, but old Teleroon up and left Lemonsa long, not long ago. Couldn't say as to why or where. You're better off asking Kyokarun herself, er, himself. Nobody a tosses a rum gone. <laughs> no, I warn you. Best to take this chicken egg with you. Really? Little bastard loves the bloody things. <clears throat> Good to hear old bulls, uh, old Busk, though. Sounds as though he hasn't changed a bit. Just like him sending a venture along. Too shy to come in his own cell. Gods, I miss drinking of that fool. We did it. Okay, I'm going to have to take a bit of a break from <laughs> reading stuff like that for <laughs> a bit. My throat is killing me. Is this person do also, sell... Hey, dies. Yeah, Wait, I was like, guys... I was looking at this. I'm like, does he sell different dye from the one? It's probably the same yeah. ones in the other town, huh? It looks like it. Uh, I am not sure. I think they do sell different dye. Green purple. Oops. Oh no, the controls are a nightmare. So I had great purple before. There's gloom purple here. I, what I really want is those, uh... I want those shiny dyes. The oh, Enix Seisibu. Are... They require, like, I... endgame grinding and stuff, in, like, a faction or something. Yeah. You'll kill Rune. What? I want to play as that. Is it a rat person? Uh, it's a rat goblin. Look at him. Yeah, it's like a. Yeah, it's kind of like a mix between rat and goblin. What a weird, super slender face. Customer be welcome. Not customer. Not come with custom. Kyoko Rune busy with business. Too busy for bladder. Here's Chicken her egg. egg. Chicken egg. Kyoko Rune love chicken egg. Love chicken egg more than love customer. Looking for Rune? <laughs> Tetarun no here no more. Tetarun leave Limsa. Tetarun go look for sparkles. Now working at trade post. Good trading post. Forget what trading post is. Weinberg knows Tetarun. Weinberg knows trading post. Weinberg at fairy docks. You go to fairy docks. Kikurun forget things. Weinberg remember things. You talk to Weinberg, not Kikurun. <laughs> Kikurun like egg more than customer. 